Hi, my name is Paul Koenig and I'm one of the physician assistants with the pediatric surgery team. Congratulations, you and your child have made it through the operation for appendicitis and now it's time to go home. The purpose of this video is to go over the instructions for caring for your child once you uh, arrive home, but don't worry, we will provide you with written instructions prior to uh, your discharge. A member of the staff will go over all the instructions with you prior to leaving. You will be provided with written discharge instructions that one of our staff members will go over with you prior to discharge. And if you want to view this video again, even after you get home, you'll be able to find it on the All Children's Hospital website at www.allkids.org forward slash surgery. First, let's go over the care of your surgical wound. Sometimes the bandage will be removed while you're still in the hospital, but if the bandage is still in place, please remember to remove it two days after surgery. Taking off the dressing is not difficult. Just peel up the edges of the adhesive bandage and gently remove it. Underneath the bandage, there may be some steri strips. These look like little pieces of tape. Do not take these off. The steri strips remain on to give the incision extra strength and protection while it heals. Once again, do not remove the steri strips when you take off the bandage. The steri strips will fall off on their own in about two weeks. Just treat them as if they were regular skin. They can get wet and you do not need to put a new bandage on top of them. When you first take off the dressing, you may notice a little redness from where the bandage was stuck to the skin. This is normal. There may also be some puffiness or some black and blue. In addition, the steri strips might have some dried blood on them. That's okay too. What is not okay is if you see any active bleeding, spreading redness, or pus draining from the wound. If you see any of this, please contact us immediately. While the bandage is on, your child can only have a sponge bath. Once the bandage comes off, your child can take a shower. However, you probably shouldn't soak the wound underwater like in a bathtub or in a swimming pool until it has healed for at least one week. Now let's talk about pain. It's normal for your child to have some pain after surgery. They were given pain medication during their hospital stay to minimize the pain, but they may still require some pain medication once they go home. Let me review a couple of the pain medicines that we recommend, but remember, every child is different and some children have allergies and reactions to pain medications. We will plan to go over which pain medications are best for your child once you are discharged. Acetaminophen, commonly known as Tylenol, or Ibuprofen, commonly known as Motrin, are both over-the-counter medicines that are very effective for treating pain after an operation. These are the most common pain medicines that we recommend. You should follow the dosing guidelines on the bottle. Sometimes these over-the-counter medicines are not enough, so you'll be sent home with a prescription for a pain medicine that can be filled at a pharmacy. Your child may need to take other medications after you go home. For example, you may be given an antibiotic or you may have questions regarding medications your child was taking prior to coming to the hospital. We will review this on a case-by-case -case basis. After a few days, much of the pain will go away, but that does not mean that your child is ready for full activity. The body is still recovering, so we recommend light activity only for two weeks. After you go home, this means no gym, sports, or other strenuous activities. As far as going back to school, we think the parents know their children best. When you think they are ready, they probably are. Of course, they should not go back to school if they are still on the pain medication that we provided. And we generally recommend that the child have a couple of days of feeling back to normal before they head back to the classroom. Most children are back within one week. Many families ask for a note for school. A copy of your written discharge instructions generally suffice. However, if you need a formal doctor's note, we will happily provide that on your follow-up visit. Once you are home, there are several warning signs that you need to be made aware of. Fever greater than 101, nausea or vomiting that persists after 12 hours, bleeding, some blood on bandage is okay, pus from the wound, spreading redness around the wound, or worsening pain. If you have any questions about these warning signs or if you have any other concerns, please feel free to contact us. Please remember we always have a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call us. If we cannot answer your call immediately, we will get back to you within the hour. We also have a pediatric surgeon that is available 24 hours a day for any serious situations. And please remember, if there is a true emergency, please call 911. The last thing I'd like to cover is the follow-up visit. We generally like to see you back two to four weeks after you leave the hospital. There is no charge for this visit. The purpose is for us to check to make certain everything is okay and to share any late arriving test results with you. 
Also, we can provide you with a school note. Our offices are based here at All Children's Hospital in the Outpatient Care Center across the street from the hospital. However, we also hold office hours at some of the All Children's Outreach Centers. Once you get home, call our office and talk to our staff. They will help you schedule an appointment at a time and location that is most convenient for you. We are so glad that you're ready to go home. This video was meant to give you some useful information. If you forget anything I covered, you can watch it again at home on your computer. Just go to our website and we'll see you in a couple weeks at your follow-up visit.